Hi Girl Scouts, my name is Mary Fuller and I am the STEM Program Manager with the Girl Scouts of Eastern Missouri, which means I get to do all sorts of fun activities with Girl Scouts like you in science, technology, engineering, and math. And the Girl Scouts of Eastern Missouri were based here in the U.S. state of Missouri in St. Louis, which is just right along the Missouri-Illinois border, right on the banks of the Mississippi River, which is the second longest river in, the nor in North America. So today, I'm gonna go over step two of the Junior Camper Badge, which is learning a new camping skill. And specifically, I'm gonna teach you how to tie knots. So we're gonna go over three different knots. And for this activity, you're gonna need a piece of rope. So cotton rope, nylon rope, whatever you have. Um, jump rope works really well if you're just practicing. Um, when you go camping, you're gonna need more rope, but for just practicing these knots, about a foot, uh, 12 to 18 inches of rope will do just fine. So we're gonna go over three knots. Each knot might take you 10 or 15 minutes to practice. Um, and get down. It's okay. It takes you more than one time. It took me more than one time to get it just right. Um, but the more you practice, the better at it you'll be. So that when you are able to go camping, um, whether it's a campsite or primitive camping area, you'll know how to tie a knot safely, safely and securely. So the first knot we're going to do is a square knot, which is a very quick and easy knot. So it's a good one to start off with. So a square knot is good for if you're trying to tie two ends together or two different pieces of rope together, um, as long as they're the same thickness or about the same the bit, same kind of rope. So for this one, there are two ways to, to tie this knot. I'm going to show you both. So the first one is you take the two ends, cross them over, and then you're going to kind of loop them so they're like an X, and then you're going to take those two ends and cross them over again so it looks like this. So here's our or square, um, where the square knot gets its name, and then you're just gonna tighten it. Like I said, quick, easy, uh, it's a solid knot. Um, the trick is with this knot, it's not very secure, so don't use this knot if you're hanging up something, um, especially like a hammock or something, because it might twist and fall, um, and then you might get hurt. So the other way to do this is if you're tying it in the middle of the rope, so you're gonna kind of have like a U-shape, or this is called a bite. Um, and then you have your U-shape, so then you have your end. You're gonna take your end, go over, over again. So this is the tricky part. You're gonna still stay on the same side of the rope, and then you're gonna go in through the middle again. And just like last time, we have our square, where the name square knot comes from. And then you're gonna pull tight, and you have a knot just like that. So that's the square knot. All right, the second knot I'm gonna show you how to do today is a really useful knot. So this is a good one to know. It's called a clove hitch knot. So this knot is really good um, for attaching to things like fence posts or trees. Um, it's really great for hanging hammocks or hanging clothesline, what else, whatever else you need to hang your rope around your campsite. So for this, you're gonna take it, take your rope, Make a loop around whatever it is you're tying it around. You're gonna cross it, and then you're gonna loop again. And then you're gonna come right through the middle. So you can see we have our ropes parallel to each other. And then you just kind of tighten it. And then I like to take this, the shorter end, the loose end, and just tie another little knot just to help make it really secure. So there's our knot. So we could hang our hammock from this, hang this as a clothesline, whatever we need to do around our campsite. So this is a really great knot, it has a lot of uses, and it's, it is very, very secure. Our third knot that we're going to do today is the most difficult. So this is a knot that's gonna take a little more practice, um, which is great, because this step of the Junior Camper Badge is all about practicing new camping skills. So this one might take you a little longer to get, um, and I'm gonna try my best to show you how to do it. Um, but as a reminder, you can always look at the Girl Scouts of the USA YouTube channel it has a whole list of all of the all of the knots. So these three that I've showed you today and more. So don't forget to check those out. They also have better step-by-step -step directions on how to do them. So for this knot, you're going to take a, make a loop. You're going to take your other end, run it through the loop, and then behind. 
and then back through the loop. So this is called a bowline knot and it's really great. Then you just tighten it up and it leaves you with a secure loop. So unlike other um, knots that might give you a loop like this, this one is not gonna slip. So once you have it tightened, it's not gonna move even if you pull on it. So this is good if you're putting um, some weight, some tension on it. Um, you can use this bowline knot to um, make a loop to tie over maybe like the, the top of a fence um, if you're making a clothesline or something like that. So this is a really good knot, but I, like I said, it's a little trickier um, on how to do it. I'm gonna show you one more time. So take your knot, or take your rope, make a loop, go through the loop, behind, through, back, down through the loop, and then pull to tighten. And then you're gonna have, have, like I said, a really secure knot. This is a really secure knot. It's a little trickier, but it's a really great knot to know and to have um, in your knowledge database. <laughs> All right, so those are three great knots that you can use when you go camping. Again, this was to work on step two of the junior camping badge, but knots are a great thing for everybody of all ages to know um, whenever you go camping. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to give it a like, comment. Um, you can always go back and check out Girl Scouts of the USA for other great videos, including a whole series on how to tie the three knots I showed you, as well as many, many more. There are so many great knots out there. Um, this is a great skill to have. So now that you've learned knot tying, you can move on to more camping skills and get out there this summer and test them out. So don't forget to visit girlscouts.org to learn more about Girl Scouts and all the great ways that you can get involved and earn more badges. 